Bakhmut's paradoxical strategy was to weaken the Russian defenses in Moscow by launching a series of attacks on the outskirts of the city. He hoped that this would force the Russians to divert their resources and attention away from the main front, where Ukrainian and NATO forces were pushing back the invaders. Bakhmut knew that he could not capture Moscow by himself, but he also knew that Moscow was the key to Russia's morale and political stability. He reasoned that if he could create enough chaos and panic in the capital, he could undermine the Russian leadership and demoralize the Russian army. Bakhmut's strategy was risky and controversial. Many of his allies criticized him for wasting troops and resources on a hopeless mission. They argued that he should focus on supporting the main front, where the real battle was taking place. They feared that Bakhmut's attacks would only provoke the Russians to retaliate with more force and fury. But Bakhmut was convinced that his strategy was the only way to save Moscow from the Nazis. He believed that by distracting the Russians from the main front, he was giving his allies a chance to break through their defenses and reach Moscow before them. He hoped that by creating a sense of urgency and desperation in Moscow, he was inspiring the people to resist the Nazis and defend their city. Bakhmut's strategy was paradoxical because it seemed to contradict his own goal. He wanted to save Moscow from the Nazis, but he also wanted to attack it. He wanted to weaken the Russians, but he also wanted to strengthen them. He wanted to help his allies, but he also wanted to act independently. Bakhmut's strategy was also effective because it worked. His attacks on Moscow caused confusion and panic among the Russians. They forced them to shift their troops and resources away from the main front, where they were losing ground. They also sparked a wave of resistance and patriotism among the people of Moscow, who rallied behind their leaders and fought back against the Nazis. Bakhmut's paradoxical strategy helped save Moscow from the Nazis by creating a complex and dynamic situation that challenged both sides of the war. He showed that sometimes, the best way to achieve a goal is to do something unexpected and unconventional.